A small update just flipped the game. Not months from now, not years. Today, NVIDIA's newest AI tools are now turning words into video, yeah. Full environments and moving scenes built just from text. But here's the twist. This breakthrough isn't about making movies. It's about driving, real world driving, and Tesla's full self-driving might never be the same. Let's break it down like you're sitting next to us in the passenger seat. The sandbox that trains self-driving cars. Training a self-driving car takes more than just cameras and code. It needs time lots of it. According to studies by the Rand Corporation, for a car to be statistically safer than a human, it would need to drive hundreds of millions to billions of miles. Just collecting that in the real world would take decades, even with thousands of Teslas on the road. Enter NVIDIA. Their solution is so clever it almost sounds like science fiction. Recreate full cities in 3D, feed in past driving logs, and let AI generate brand new traffic situations. Add their text to video tech on top of that, and you've got a kind of training sandbox, where Teslas can now drive through billions of miles of realistic simulations without ever leaving a lab. And that's exactly why NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang said they're turning thousands of real drives into billions of synthetic miles. That's the compression. That's the leverage. And it's happening now. GPUs changed gaming now. They're rewiring cars. If you remember the early 2000s, you saw how gaming graphics exploded when GPUs got better. That same curve, call it exponential if you want, is now happening with AI training for autonomous vehicles. Think about it. Every time an FSD car encounters a problem in the real world, a weird pedestrian movement, a slippery turn, a busted traffic light developers can now recreate that moment in NVIDIA's digital universe and spawn a million variations of it. It's like giving the AI a second, third and millionth chance to learn, and it never forgets. But this isn't just about cars anymore. Jensen dropped something massive in his latest announcement. The ChatGPT moment for robotics is just around the corner. We're talking general-purpose robots machines that can work in human spaces without needing redesigned factories or roads. They don't need greenfield environments. They just work in our world. And here's where it gets wild. There are three types of robots that fit perfectly into the world we already built. Agentic AI. These are your digital co-workers. Information workers that live in your devices, your apps, and your inbox. Self-driving cars like Teslas. 100 years of road building made the perfect environment for them. Humanoid robots. Human-sized, human-shaped machines. This is the next frontier. The hard part? Training them. Unlike cars, we don't have billions of hours of people walking, cooking, moving chairs, or opening doors in a way that AI can just download and copy. That's where NVIDIA Isaac GR00T steps in. Inside, Isaac GR00T, training a robot to act like a human has always been hard. Real-world trials are expensive, risky, and super slow. In early robotics tests, Stanford researchers found failure rates up to 30%. That's too high. So, NVIDIA created a system that learns differently. It starts small. Step 1. Use a headset like the Apple Vision Pro 2 let a skilled human portal into a digital twin of the robot. This is called Groot Teleop. It lets you control the robot without needing a real one. You can safely teach it motions in a 3D virtual world with zero risk of damage. Step 2. The system takes a handful of those demonstrations and multiplies them into millions of variations. That's Groot Mimic. Step 3. Use NVIDIA Omniverse and Cosmos to scale everything up with domain randomization, realistic environments, and synthetic physics. Now, your robot can practice in a trillion different worlds before it ever lifts a finger in ours. The result? Synthetic learning on steroids. And the speed? It's measured in days, not years. A boost for Tesla's Optimus. Now picture this. Tesla's Optimus robot, learning how to move, carry, fold, cook, and clean. Not just from lab data, but from millions of simulated human-like motions NVIDIA generates on demand. Optimus used to be a maybe-someday project. With NVIDIA's help, 
it could be ready way faster than expected. And because Tesla already builds its AI infrastructure on GPUs and simulation tech, plugging into NVIDIA's platform could be seamless. That's a real-world bridge between full self-driving and full humanoid functionality. NVIDIA's new text-to-video. AI isn't just cool, it's foundational. What it really means is that we can now describe a task in words and have the AI build an entire training simulation around it. Walk across the street while avoiding pedestrians. Pick up a cup without knocking over the bottle next to it. Load boxes into a truck. The AI turns that sentence into movement, environment, physics, lighting everything the robot needs to learn from. It's the difference between telling a child what to do and letting them see it, try it, and repeat it a thousand times. It's learning, leveled up. Jensen also pointed to something deeper, how tokens are becoming the building blocks of intelligence. In this new world, tokens aren't just for language. They're for motion, vision, sound, and decision-making. AI doesn't just read words anymore. Tokens teach robots how to move like masters. They guide us through hospitals. They translate feelings into voice and movement. It's why NVIDIA calls this a new kind of factory, a generator of tokens, a place where data becomes meaning and motion and safety and help, DLSS. NVIDIA's deep learning super sampling has now reached a level where it doesn't just fill in pixels. It predicts entire future frames. Here's what that means. When you play a high resolution game, your GPU is calculating millions of pixels per second. Normally, if you're playing at 4K and 60 frames per second, that's over 33 million pixels rendered every second. But with DLSS, the system only has to compute around 2 million of them. The rest over 90% are predicted by a trained neural network. The latest DLSS technology, powered by Blackwell, can now predict three additional frames for every one frame that's actually rendered. In other words, for every real frame the GPU processes, the AI infers three more. And because these neural networks were trained on NVIDIA's massive supercomputers, the results are stunningly accurate and far more efficient than traditional rendering. That predictive capability being able to generate pixels before they're needed is exactly the kind of breakthrough that's directly relevant to Tesla's FSD. The simulation engine behind physical AI. What we're witnessing is a convergence of simulation and reality. Tesla's FSD trains using video data, real-world driving logs, and synthetic simulations. But simulations need to look and behave like reality. That's why NVIDIA built Omniverse a full-stack digital twin platform that simulates entire environments, from physics and lighting to material properties and robot behavior. Inside Omniverse, NVIDIA simulates not just physical spaces, but robots, humans, and autonomous machines. It's already being used to train humanoid robots and autonomous systems in photorealistic environments that behave like the real world. And all of this is rendered in real time using GPUs and AI-based prediction. NVIDIA calls this physical AI, and it's set to become the next foundation for robotics, FSD, and more. Now connect the dots. Tesla's biggest challenge is live perception with limited compute compressing time, space, and motion into inference on a car grade chip. Meanwhile, NVIDIA is advancing massive scale training, prediction, and simulation with AI-generated pixels, future frame rendering, and neural networks running directly on shaders. These two worlds aren't just parallel, they're about to merge. The economic shift no one's ready for. Elon Musk made a point that's hard to ignore. He said the real breakthrough here is economic. If we get autonomous cars and humanoid robots right, we unlock a world where the cost of goods and services trends towards zero. Not literally zero, but so low that abundance becomes normal. Not rare, not reserved, just available. The only exceptions? Things we intentionally make scarce, like original artwork. It's hard to wrap your head around, but think of it like this. If you can scale labor using robots, and those robots can learn instantly using NVIDIA's AI tools, then the limit on productivity vanishes. That changes everything, the real Tesla problem. At the heart of Tesla's FSD lies one gigantic challenge, 
context. Their cars have seven or more high-definition cameras, all feeding live footage of the road to a small onboard computer. But when you're driving at highway speeds, capturing just one minute of video from all those lenses amounts to several gigabytes of data. The real trick? Condensing that massive stream of visual context, not just across space, but across time, and making instant decisions from it using just a few hundred watts of power. That's where Tesla's own AI chip comes in. The chip inside every car is built entirely in-house, and according to Elon Musk, it outperforms anything they could buy from outside suppliers. That onboard chip handles inference, the process of making live decisions on the road. Training, on the other hand, happens at scale on Tesla's custom-built Dojo supercomputer. The first version, Dojo 1, is already training Tesla's FSD models. Dojo 2 is expected to scale toward the end of this year, and Dojo 3 will likely arrive around 2026. Musk believes it typically takes three major iterations before a system like this becomes excellent. Dojo 2, once it hits volume, is expected to compete with NVIDIA's own B200 class systems, and that's where things get interesting. Because while Tesla is working on smarter training systems and real-time onboard inference, NVIDIA just brought the future into today, the road ahead. But here's the twist and maybe the only downside. If robots and AI can do everything we can do, what do we do? Musk called it a crisis of meaning. If your job is replaced, if your skills are outmatched, what gives your life value? It's a real question. And there's no clean answer yet. But as Elon pointed out, he knows plenty of retired folks who are living their best lives. Maybe the shift isn't a loss, it's a reset. We build, we rest, we rethink. Tesla's FSD already handles billions of real-world miles. But with NVIDIA's help, it could leap to trillions of simulated ones. Not just watching and reacting, but learning, faster than ever. NVIDIA's Omniverse Cosmos GR00T and Thor Robotics Computer. Each piece of the puzzle is clicking into place. It's not about someday, it's about right now. This AI engine isn't waiting for permission, it's already moving. Self-driving might have been the warm-up. Humanoids are the main act. And if you want to keep following this journey, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. This is only the beginning, and the next few years are going to be wild. See you in the next one.